morning. Today is Thursday, April 4th. We've got to work today and then we've got some in-laws coming down because we're going to party tonight. And then we're doing something really cool tomorrow. But before we get into all that, you already know. Okay. I thought it was pretty genius that your pants don't get wet. Did you not grow up in the 90s? Have you never rolled the legs of your pants before? No. Okay. Well, I'm glad you figured out a new thing. So Matt and Angela should be here sometime this evening, depending on what time she gets off of work. It probably won't be too long after we get off of work or shortly there before. And then my mother may come to town to drive us to the event, it's the Morgan Wallen concert. I've never been to a country show. I've never been into country until a year or so ago when I was on a hunting trip with my uncle and our buddy Mark and he introduced me to Hardy. I had to cut the video short, where was I? I was talking about country. Yeah, I've never been a fan of country um, up until a buddy of mine introduced me to Hardy on a hunting trip. Um, all he played for me was wait in the truck, but I ended up diving in and checking out his like Hicks tapes and his first couple albums. Um, really, really, really got into the Mockingbird and the Crow because I am a rock guy and that felt a little heavier. So it kind of bridged that gap for me. And then through that, um, I've gotten into Lakeview. They're awesome. Gosh, who else do I listen to? Brantley Gilbert, Morgan Wallen, obviously, because how could you not? Nate Smith is good. He's actually going to be at the show tomorrow. Yeah, there's there's a handful of country artists that um, I'm into now, which is neat. Never thought this day would come where I could actually stand in front of anyone and say, yeah, I like country. So we're growing. Let's get this day going, huh? Yesterday I popped on for a second and said something about all these fools showing up. Everybody say hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. We're going to go to a concert. We'll see you in a minute. Man, it's been a crazy week. Um, we had Easter in Michigan uh, last Sunday. And then we had the Morgan Wallen concert on Friday night. Um, hanging out with my brother-in-law and his wife on Saturday. Now it's Monday. Today we are doing the eclipse. We've got a handful of things to do around the house and like just normal daily life stuff to get back to. It feels like we've been on vacation for a week. It's a strange spot to be in. Should be fun. Let's go. I'm gonna try to just squish these facts. Try to just squish these facts, man. Focus, gosh. Really got to upgrade this lens situation. That was my first country show and I had an absolute blast. Like that was, that was really, really good. Now, the next country artist that I want to see is Hardy. And if I could make it to the Breaking Benjamin and Daughtry show to also see them, but uh, Lakeview, oh gosh, my whole year would be complete. Just about eclipse time. We're at like 50% coverage right now, I think. Um, obviously, I can't just point my camera directly at the sun, but this is going to be kind of cool. So I think what I'm going to do is right before uh, we hit totality, I'm gonna set the camera up somewhere and see if we can like catch the shadow coming in. Should be pretty neat. Oh, me and the kids are running outside like every five minutes or so and looking to see where the progress is. And this is, this is cool. What do you think, baby child? I go to your school. How much is covered? Sir, go to your school. Percent of the moon is covered. 
the uh, sun. About 50% now. Uh, wait, it goes by tens? Had to crank up the f-stop because it's starting to get a little dark out. Let's see. I'll kick it back to where I had it just a minute ago. Yeah. It's yeah. To get dark out. So we're at about 75 percent, 80 percent. So the sun right now looks like a half moon, which means yeah, we're we're close. This is actually kind of exciting. You guys having fun? Enjoying the enjoying watching the process? All right, let's adjust the f-stop real quick and see where it was when I took that first clip. I can't see us at all. And that was like, this is my normal daylight setting. This is where I have to have it so you can actually not be totally blown out. That's where we were a minute ago. And now, yeah, that's, that's about perfect for right now. So just one setting down, but we're close to, we're close to 90% coverage. Maybe. How do you make close to ninety? Have two. This is cool. What is two plus what equals ten? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Eight. I need eight more minutes until the eclipse appears. Cause it's two fifty-two. Oh wow. I'm gonna crank the f-stop up and then just set the camera down and let it record, and uh, we'll see see if we can catch it getting dark in the next ten minutes. Boom! Hi. Super Hello. exposed. Hi. 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 Hello. Right, just make sure you guys Hi. don't shake the table so the camera doesn't fall. Hi. I'm over here sitting on the chair. Oh, butterfly. Oh, hi, butterfly. You're about to be a midnight fly. You mean moths? Moths, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Look. Almost. <laughs> Almost time. It's literally so dark. Look around real quick. Oh my god. Oh wow. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god. It's really oh, wow. night time. <laughs> what? It's like night time. Look, everybody's street lights are coming on. Ruka is sad. Look at the sun. Sad. Look at the sun right now. Wait, it's what? Oh, it's almost out. There it goes. It's Take a look, take a look, take a look. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. There's a black hole in the sky or what? What is that? Pull it, I'm pulling on my phone. I got some pictures, buddy. I got a couple pictures. Oh, oh I'm God. taking a picture for mom. just like that the totality is done that was a that was a pretty neat experience did you guys enjoy it yeah yeah Ooh, now it's getting too bright that's better all right so it looks like according to what i'm reading here march 30th of 2033 
So we've got a little more than nine, or a little less than nine years from today, uh, people living in Alaska will be able to catch a glimpse of a total solar eclipse, and a partial eclipse will shine over most of the U.S. during that event. So yeah, 2033, Alaska is going to be able to catch a total. And then in 2044, North Dakota and Montana and some northern Canada will see a total eclipse. The next total solar eclipse with a coast-to-coast -coast path spanning the lower 48 will occur on August 12th, 2045. So I guess that's not too bad. So nine years, 20 years, and then 21 years. There are three spots in the U.S. where we'll be able to see some of the, see some more of the total. And um, maybe we'll... Uh, We'll travel and catch that one too. The eclipse is now finished. I had to take my nephew back to my grandma's house because he still had some schoolwork to do. And my kids wanted to go hang out over there, which I guess gives daddy the opportunity to kind of pick up the house without having to stop every 45 seconds. So pluses and minuses. Before I get to the inside though, I've got a bunch of stuff to do outside while we have daylight and nice weather. First thing I've got to do is get into my lawnmower. At some point last season, I ran over some like string from a hay bale and it's all wrapped around the, uh, the spindle for the blades. So I've got to cut that free so I can actually cut my grass because woody, it's big. And then I just got a new propane tank for the grill. So I'm gonna get that fired up and cleaned up. And then I might cut the grass before before I start the inside stuff. So, let's go. Oh, it's awful. Oh, Lord. Ah, oh, Pharaoh, easy, homie. Gosh. Oh, I'm gonna fight him. Okay, step one of the lawnmower's done. That was quick and easy, surprisingly. We got some sea foam that I need to put in there just to kind of clear out the pipes because there was a little bit of gas left in it from last season. And I don't want to pay another repair bill. I am really, really tired of getting like 9,000 notifications from DoorDash. Stop it, guys. I, I will order food when I want to order food, not when you tell me to. Okay, let's regas this thing. Doesn't need a whole lot. You mother... Oh. Ugh, I hate these crappy gas cans, man. All right, and since we're over here already, we'll go ahead and hook up this guy. Piece of junk out of here. And we'll clean that up in a minute get this yard done first. Finished up a lawn, had to grab a bite to eat because your boy was starving. And uh, I'm gonna clean the grill before it gets dark. So let's fire it up. Cause it's been months and months and months and months. Boom. 
We got power. Should just let that burn some stuff off for a minute. Oh, I have nylon bristles. Those are gonna melt. Maybe we uh, maybe we shut that back down for a moment and scrub it first. Burn some of that junk off and oil it up. Next project. Now that I've done wasted enough time, let's pick up the house a little bit. The water is actually pretty good, but this water is better. Mm. The cool thing is today I didn't really have a lot to do inside because my wife went through Tuesday and Wednesday last week and just super cleaned the house in preparation of her brother and his wife coming down. It was awesome had a great time struggled a little bit so the house is really still clean it's just this that needs picked up laundry's caught up dishes are caught up everything's awesome so i'm gonna straighten up the living room and talk some smack would that be fast i'm a man and a young man ooh, and a baby ooh. Puppies, man. Oh my gosh, I am so sore. So very sore right now. I did have a thought last night, and I do think that I am going to bring it to life. For those of you that know me or have known me for a long time, you'll know that music was my first love. I always dreamt of being a professional musician. Like I wanted to support my life by writing and playing songs for people. The problem with that is you have to be good at it. Secondly, I haven't been able to write a song in close to 10 years, if not a little bit more. So my idea was what if I write every single day? Not an entire song, just write some lyrics. I'm not gonna put any crazy stipulations on myself. I'm not gonna force myself to write a melody or write any guitar parts or even write a specific amount of lines. I'm just going to write. So to make sure that I actually do it, I sat last night for about 30 minutes and wrote Eight lines, eight lines and a title, just to get myself in that groove. Maybe I'm approaching it wrong. See, for me, music and being creative in that way always came from a place of pain. It was a way for me to cope with my emotions and the things I was going through. Um, you know, being late teens, early adulthood, it was, it, it's a tumultuous time. Um, anywhere from, I mean, hell, really, 13 to 23, for most people, at least most people I know, can kind of suck once in a while. We, we tend to put ourselves through some stuff, man. I can't really channel that anymore. I don't have a whole lot of tragedy to write about. But what I can do is tell stories. I could write from the perspective of a character that I create. Kind of like writing a book or writing a short film, only music. Now, I don't know if it's actually going to work or not. I might get three days in and get stuck back in my old writer's block ways. But I think it would be cool to try. Get off the couch. Get off the couch. Good girl. As an added benefit, I can make a video series about it. Well, maybe not a series as much as a single video. But I think that would be a cool project. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing, say something. Let me know. It'd be fun for me either way. I'm going to do it either way. A big part of my creative process when it comes to 
the music thing, specifically as it relates to writing lyrics, was I can always come up with like a catchy line. I can come up with one thing, like a topic or a title and just run with it. Oddly enough, when I got my life together and stopped putting myself in negative situations intentionally, or even unintentionally, I guess, it was like I, I wasn't seeking out the struggle. I just didn't know any better. Now that my greatest stressor is feeling like I'm not doing enough or getting stuck in the, the routine and feeling like life can get a little mundane once in a while. But even then, it's not enough for me to really write anything cool about it. Ooh, just beat the hell out of my new guitar. Two side notes real quick. One, modular couches are awesome. We've always loved sectionals. This is our first ever modular jammy though. Hence the, the couch covers. I'm trying to keep this thing alive for a while. And we have big old chunky dogs. Second, it's part of my mini segue here. I've known for a long time, and for some reason I keep making myself reaffirm that it's true. I cannot play and sing when I'm on the sauce, it's awful. Oh my gosh, embarrassing. And I always wake up the next day regretting the fact that I spent an hour and a half trying to get through three songs and I keep stopping myself because I'll get halfway through a line, run out of breath or my fingers will get funky and not play the right notes. It also just so happens that on the occasion that I do drink, I need to play. Oh my gosh. It's can be a little overwhelming. And if I can't play, then I need to listen to music. Did I put the ottoman in the wrong spot, Pharaoh? Yeah. So I forgot exactly where I was going with this, apart from the fact that I'm gonna have a video probably in the next couple weeks of just me sitting and writing. And then maybe at the end of the video, I'll give you the best one that I came up with, which is also going to be hard for me to do because I am hypercritical of myself, especially when it comes to anything regarding creativity. I don't make it easy on myself. Sometimes it's a problem. I'm sure you can relate. The confidence that I portray is almost entirely forced, which again, if you know me personally, you've probably caught on to. Chicken. That being said, I did not record myself writing last night. I just forced myself to sit down and do it just to get into the habit, just to see if it was something that I could force myself to get through. Kind of like forcing myself to work out. Can't stand it, continue to do it. Or on another health related note, forcing myself to not drink pop. Ugh, it is a struggle, especially when we have three or four cases of it here at home. I allow myself one pop a day Unless I'm at work, then sometimes I'll do two if I really need the caffeine. Because if I drink coffee at work, I get shaky and I'm all over the place. And you gotta have crispy lines if you wanna keep paying the bills, baby. Speaking of pop and why it's a bad idea to purchase it in this house, this is number like eight and nine that are well over half full. And the craziest part about that is like we really only allow the kids to have one a day and keep finding new ones that have been open, sipped, and left behind. Such is parenthood though, huh? While I'm talking about songwriting through, through my emotions and dealing with my own BS, I think the second most annoying thing about my life that actually causes me pain that I could write about is the amount of freaking throw pillows in my house, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who wants to hear a song about that? Ah, maybe that would be a good exercise, though. Write some funny tunes about little things. Credit where credit is due, because that's how I roll. There is a little bit of a benefit to having 9,000 throw pillows and 4,000 blankets in the house. When we entertain my wife's family, we need them. And they help. What the young man? What you doing in the pink pink bag, man? Oh my gosh, can I talk to the puppy? Mr. Jealousy? Jeez. Jeez. How many of you have this going on in your house too? I know I'm not alone. I'm just curious. The good news is, our dogs get to drink the same water that we do. Which is cool, because that top water is for the birds, huh? Yeah. Like no filthy tap waters. Honestly, not that the microplastics in the bottles are much better. But that's a topic for another day. In addition to the songwriting exercise, I've also been working on another video project for the last five weeks. And I feel like now is as good a time as ever to go ahead and preemptively drop it. I started working out the last few days of February. My initial plan was to work out seven days a week. I was going to do something seven days a week, even if it was, you know, five push-ups at night before bed. Now, because I've never taken my physical fitness seriously, and now I'm concerned that as I get older, I'm not going to be able to do the things that I want to do. My body's not going to keep up. I'm super, super motivated to actually be healthier. The focus is get stronger, get healthier, be able to use my body for more than what I use it for now. So for these last five weeks, I've worked out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which I know is not the best but it's better than nothing. I've also really, really reduced my junk food intake. Occasionally I'll be super duper hungry at work and have to order some pasta or something to get my energy back up. And honestly there for those first couple weeks, that calorie deficit was tough. Man, I struggled a lot. I almost blacked out a couple times just from trying so hard in the beginning. But now we've leveled out and I've realized that on days that I work out, I really need to up my calorie intake, not go, not eat in a surplus, but not in so much of a deficit and really focus on that deficit going week to week as opposed to day to day. And it's been helpful. In this video, I was teaching my kids how to ride their bike and I struggled to keep up. Everything hurt just from holding them up on the bike and running alongside them house to house for, oh gosh, I don't know. All total, I think it was only a couple hours. At 32 years old, that should not have been difficult for me. Today, prior to the eclipse happening, we went out and rode bikes for a little while. And not only did they do much better, it was awesome. My daughter has actually got it now. I could just totally let go of her and run next to her. Same with Elijah. Um, but I was actually able to run down the block and back a few times and didn't really struggle much at all. So although I'm not seeing a whole lot of visual improvement yet, it is working. I can do more than I could five weeks ago. I can handle more than I could five weeks ago. I'm considerably stronger. I have way more energy. I'm sleeping better when I do sleep. And I'm able to get through my workouts easier every single time. And I'm able to push it a little bit further. And I'm recovering quicker. And I'm actually looking forward to drinking that next bottle of water. Starting to get to the point, honestly, where if I drink a Coke, I feel like crap. And Mountain Dew is totally out of the question. It absolutely wrecks me. Which is crazy. Because for years, Mountain Dew and coffee, it's all I would drink absolutely ruined me. But I think I've dove into that a little bit more than I initially wanted to for tonight. I'll save the whole story 
or I'll revisit the whole story when I drop that video in the next couple months. I think this might have been the easiest Monday house cleanup ever. One load of dishes, no laundry, and rearranging the couch again. Stoked. Ooh, I forgot to mark my workout for the day. I'm keeping a tally. First time I've ever seen this at a concert. They gave out these wristbands when you walked into the venue. We weren't sure exactly what they did but they were actually synced up to play like a light show in the crowd while he was playing. So like some would flash blue and then some would flash red and then they would alternate to the beat. It was really freaking cool. Well played, Morgan. Also, I was jail, homie. Throw that in the junk drawer, keep it as a memento for the next year. And then one day I'll open it up and be like, why the hell did I keep this? Bad boy. Ugh, ADD cleaning. Can't stay focused on one task. Hey, I know that this video was a little bit scattered. I uh, didn't really have a whole lot of focus to spare this past week with everything we had going on, but I did have a great time. I'm really looking forward to putting out these next couple longer term projects where I'm recording for weeks prior to releasing the videos and then hopefully I'll be able to do a couple more tattoo vlogs and just normal daily life stuff coming up soon but anyway thanks again for checking it out and I will see you next time